Today is a big day for Move Me in the van. Do you mind? Today, the walls are going up. At least today, we're starting around like 4 or 5 p.m. so I don't have too much time. I'm gonna try to knock out this wall where there's no wires, electrical outlets going, so that should be the easier wall to knock out. I'm using Western Cedar Tongue Groove, quarter inch thick, about six inches uh, wide. And I'm using some one and 7 16th length self-drilling wood to metal screws. Um, this side is pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna cut it out to drill it straight in. Nothing to really worry about, so that should be the easier side. This one is gonna be a little more complicated, and then the ceiling, I imagine, will be equally as complicated. So, let me guys show you what that's gonna look like. So I ended up buying these from Home Depot. I got about 28 of them and they were like $8 a piece. So I think it came out to like around $300, $320. Um, I think it's about expected. That's, that's what I thought it would be. Um, good price. The cedar is flexible. It's light. It looks nice. So that's why I decided to go with that. So guys, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to measure out the distance from, from the edge of the wall over to the base of the wheel here. I'm gonna trace that right onto the piece of wood, cut it out, and then screw it simply in. Very straightforward. Just trying to get around this wheel uh, as easy as possible. Alright, so I've traced it out. I got my saw. Just gonna cut right through it. Ended up just plowing through it. I didn't have a lot of time to explain what I was doing, but to make things as easy as possible, I figured I would start where each piece would be the same length. Right here, it kind of pops out. It's not flat against the ground, but right above it is flush, and it'd be the same length all the way across. And so I just measured the distance. I cut one out. I traced them out of the other, and I just cut all of them out. I think it was 10, 10 boards, 10 six-inch boards would make it to the very top, and then I just ended up screwing it in. So um, from here below, we'll be covered by like the, the couch on one side and the bed frame on the other side. So I didn't think it would be as, as important. So on this side over here, I ended up just buying some scrap wood and get, getting some good enough measurements down. But same thing, this will be covered up by cabinet space and the sink and the bed in the back. So my main priority was to start up here where you will see some part of it, where it's flush, find the distance all the way across, cut up the same pieces all the way to the top. Up here, 
same thing. It's not flush against the wall, so we just kind of cut around it. There will be a cabinet coming to right here, so I was, wasn't worried about this part. And then same thing over here. This will be behind the cabinet space, so I wasn't too concerned about it. We ended up just cutting around it and making sure it would fit. But the tongue and groove fit very nicely. It just locked into place to each other. So that made the process very simple. Um, the wood, the metal was easy to screw into. And yeah, so up next, I'm just gonna find some scrap wood, fill in the bottom part as best I can. And then we go to the ceiling. So it took two days to do, but the walls are finally done. I had to get creative and do some makeshift pieces, but they ended up fitting. Um, I'm happy with it. It looks fine, it looks uniform. From here below, it's gonna be covered up by um, just countertops and uh, garage space in the back. Same thing on this side. From here below will be covered up, so I'm not too worried about how it looks down there. This was the main concern for me, is how it looks up here. And I'm happy. It looks fine. <laughs> I did have one screw up, and I'm probably gonna have to fix. I put this piece on reverse somehow. So, I will have to fix that. But, small price to pay. Up next, final step before we do the ceiling, is I'm gonna get, I got some two by fours over here. I'm gonna build a rectangle around the wheels, and just to cover it up, and fill it in with uh, some insulation. So, almost done. So close. So, I kind of sped through that without showing you guys what I did along the way, but to describe what I did to you guys, I just traced around the wheel, put some 2x4s up, put some yucca board around it, covered it up, doesn't have, doesn't have to look pretty, it's going to be in my garage space under my bed, so I'm not really going to see it much. On this side, I ran out of yucca board, so I will have to go to Home Depot one more time just to finish that last part, unfortunately. Other than that, it's good. I put uh, insulation in there just to uh, keep some of the cold out and the heat and then also to kind of uh, muffle some of the rumbling sound from the wheel. Um, that's it guys for the walls and the wheels. The next step is going to be the ceiling. <laughs> 